Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for this gameplay video. Today we're going to play Bonanza Brothers, or Bonanza Bros, which is a 1990 arcade classic later ported onto many home systems, including the Sega Mega Drive, which is the version we're playing today. In this game, which is played by either one or two players, you control two thieves, Robo and Mobo, the red and blue players respectively, as they attempt to steal certain objects from well-guarded buildings. I say thieves as this is how they were portrayed in the original Japanese and arcade versions, but when ported to western consoles they became security testers, contracted by the building's owner to practically test the building's security measures. I guess Sega didn't want to run the risk of bad press if they were seen as encouraging criminal behaviour on impressionable young children, or perhaps they thought that they stood to lose out on sales unless they made the playable characters respectable professionals rather than burglars. Whatever the reason, no matter what other security personnel and measures the game's building owner may have taken to secure his valuables, the one thing he didn't consider was perhaps the importance of securing said treasures in a good locked safe, as opposed to just lying around in random rooms and passageways. Robo and Mobo are armed with guns that temporarily stun their targets. Whether or not you consider the duo to be villains or heroes, they certainly aren't killers. But there are also environmental elements available to take out those guards, such as the classic door to the face, or my personal favourite, the heavy weight from above. Now, I've never played this game before, so I must admit I do die a lot. Fortunately, I'm partnered up with my experienced good friend Luther Gond. Originally, as with most Mega Drive games, it was made to be played by two friends sitting in the same room, but as Luther and I are separated by a considerable distance, we have to do things a little bit differently. So we are playing this game in an emulator. We are each using a Raspberry Pi 4B+, running RetroArch and the Genesis Plus GX emulator, making use of RetroArch's Netplay feature to link our two systems. Luther is the host of this session, so he plays as Player 1, which in this game is on the bottom half of the screen and I join him as player 2 on the top half of the screen. Before we begin, I'll just give a quick little reminder to like this video if you like this video, leave a comment about your experiences playing this game, and please consider subscribing if you want to see more from me in the future. I'll also leave a link to Luther's channel in the description and at the end of the video if you want to check out his stuff too. Anyway, that's enough of my chit chat, let's get started.
Wow. 